Hi, this is Adarsh from MathWorks. In this example, data-free parameter pruning will be implemented in MATLAB. As a next step, the prune network will be quantized using the Deep Learning Toolbox Model Quantization Library Support Package. Pruning and quantization are powerful model compression techniques. Pruning is a process of identifying and removing redundant connections. Mandated pruning is used in this example. Most deep networks in MATLAB are represented by single precision data types. Quantization converts these models to lower precision data types for speed and memory gains. A series convolution network trained to classify handwritten digits is used to apply pruning and quantization. 50% of parameters could be pruned with 1% accuracy loss with no retraining involved. Prune network quantization had no impact on quantized network accuracy. Iterative pruning is used in this example with the motivation that we can track the progress at each iteration step. Iterative pruning consists of various steps. As a first step, we construct a DL network because it supports the DL update API, which is a very efficient way of changing and modifying network learnables. The starting accuracy of the network is 99%. Sparsity can be defined as the percentage of zero valued parameters present in the network. The next step, we create an iteration scheme where we try to reach a target sparsity of 90% with 10 evenly spaced out iteration steps. Network mask is a way in which network parameters are removed. Let's see how this works. First, we create a vector test weight with five values. Next, we create a binary mask for all values in test weight greater than three. When the test mask is applied to test weight, all parameters less than 3 are thrown. Beware this technique creates sparse matrices and will not provide any size or computational gain. Here we load the training and validation data and train a convolution neural net to classify handwritten digits as the network is subject to pruning. For pruning, we need to assign a score to each parameter which decides its importance. For magnitude pruning, the absolute value of the parameter is considered the score. The next step, we create a network mask for each iteration. This helps us trace back the best solution. The first step in the loop, we create the magnitude score. Then this score is used to create the iteration mask. For the iteration mask, the score is packed into one vector to calculate the minimum threshold score value for the given iteration sparsity. The mask is then created to prune all parameters with scores below the specific threshold. Once we evaluate the iteration mask, DL update is used to update the network learnables. Now the prune network is used to calculate the iteration accuracy. Now these accuracy images are compiled to have a plot between the sparsity versus the network accuracy, which can help us trace back the best solution, which in our case is we can prune up to 50% of parameters for 1% accuracy loss. Once we have the prune network, now we will quantize the prune network using the model quantization library. First, we need to create a calibration and validation data store. We then create a DL quantizer object for the prune network. Next, we calibrate the quantizer object to collect the range statistics for the weights and activations. Once the calibration is done, we can validate the quantized network behavior using the validate step to get the accuracy and the learnable parameter memory for the floating point and quantized network. Pruning and quantization was applied to a network trained to classify handwritten digits. We could achieve up to 50% pruning with less than 1% accuracy loss, and the quantized network had little to no accuracy loss compared to floating point network. 